Hello everyone, and welcome to the 420th episode of Analyzing Evil, featuring my stepfather, Ron. An inhuman sociopathic imposter, Ronald rules over our household with an iron fist and an empty soul. A man so ruthless, so devoid of any redeemable traits, that it makes me sick, simply uttering his name. In this video, we are going to explore what made him the monster he is today and then move on to discuss the gory details of his cruelty. Now without further ado, let's begin. Very little is known of Ronald's origins, and though I have theorized he came from the deepest pits of hell, this is just a theory, and holds no real weight. Therefore, I will try to paint a picture with the little information I have. Ron was born into a middle class family, and his parents divorced when he was in middle school. He too had a stepfather, who much like Ron, most likely victimized him in a similar way to what I am currently experiencing. Although Ron says he views his stepdad as a true father and loves him dearly, this would not explain why Ron is such an asshole, so it must be Cope. Ron was the captain of the varsity football team in high school, a fact that he is very proud of to this day. Despite me telling him several times that intellectual pursuits are far more valuable than such brutish valor. When I mention this to him, he hurls hateful slurs towards me, such as Dork or Poindexter, followed by a chuckle and a pat on the back, as if he was just joking. But there is never an excuse to belittle and physically assault someone over such trivial matters such as pride or ego. This is one of the many examples of Ron being a sociopath, but I digress. As my mother told me, she met Ron about three months after my father got lost while going to get milk at the store. While I tried to reassure my mother that he was surely coming back soon, her feeble womanoid mind was easily manipulated by Ron's sinister mind games. He forced her to fall in love with him and have sex with him very loudly on the other side of my bedroom wall, which gave me very confusing erections, which I'm sure was his evil endgame all along. My mother has told me that Ron just wants me to like him and that he's trying his best to be a good stepdad, but she doesn't see what goes on while she's not around. One of the earliest signs of psychopathic behavior, particularly in teenagers, is the torture of innocent animals, and the complete lack of regard for any form of life. And there is no greater example of this than the time he took me fishing. A sadistic sport, fishing involves the gruesome mutilation of a fish's mouth, psychological manipulation of animals, and a ritual blood sacrifice, so it is not the least bit surprising that such an evil man would partake in such an evil hobby. Now Ron knows I suffer, from attention deficit disorder and cannot focus on tasks without the proper mental stimulation. So when he asked me to turn down the Family Guy Funny Moments compilation on my phone because I was, quote, scaring away the fish, this was a direct and heartless attack on my mental health. After all, what kind of a good, decent person would ask another to destroy their own mental well-being so they could torture innocent animals with greater efficiency? Another example of Ron's unyielding malice is last Thanksgiving, when he asked me to say grace before dinner, knowing I am a proud atheist intellectual. While being Christian alone makes one an accessory to the murder of billions throughout the course of history, and certainly solidifies one as evil, this was only a footnote of Ronald's overall toxicity. Knowing he might ask such an insulting and ridiculous thing of me, I made sure to wear my I fucking love science t-shirt and pickle Rick snapback to the dinner table, hoping he might catch the hint and be too intimidated to ask. But I underestimated the caliber of villain I was dealing with. I complied with his demands so my mother would not revoke my PS5 privileges, but I made sure to thank the flying spaghetti monster for the meal and not Jesus. Now, we have gone over some bone-chilling instances of evil from this man, but I must divulge in his most despicable act to date. Ronald's aforementioned stepfather, who he claimed to have loved dearly, passed away last week. Upon hearing this news, he attempted 
to emotionally manipulate my poor mother with a display of crocodile tears, all to gain sympathy, something I could not sit there and abide by. This was truly the final straw that broke the camel's back. Every hero has that moment where they truly define what they stand for, a moment when the odds are stacked against them and the villain is advancing, a moment where a hero decides that it's time to end this once and for all. After watching several Marvel movie scenes on YouTube, I was ready to save my mother from this madness. I walked into the room and sternly informed Ron that he will never be my father and that I wish my stepdad was dead as well. I told him if his childish fairy tales were true, he would be burning in hell with his repugnant stepdad for eternity. Then, as a final blow, I handed him a printout meme I made, depicting myself as a Chad and him as a soy jack. <laughs> After looking shocked at my massive W for a few seconds, he then started bawling his eyes out, doubling down on his twisted, emotional appeal and gaslighting. And in return, my deluded mother proceeded to beat the shit out of me and ground me from my PS5 for six months. Ronald has not been able to look me in the eye since that fateful day, so I think a new alpha has been established in the household. And now, at the end of the day, who was Ronald? He was a man who pretended to be my real father whilst acting like a total butthole. A man who took out his small-brained anger on me and manipulated my mom into becoming a total B-word. A man who loves to torture and abuse anything smaller than him for literally no reason. Born with no soul and an inflated sense of pride, Ron laid waste to my family and in the end clearly got what he deserved for his many crimes. Thank you for watching this episode of Analyzing Evil. Next week, we will be doing my most requested video to date, featuring Taylor, a Stacy at my school, who decided that dating a Chad with perfect genetics was better than dating a skinny nice guy gamer who would show her respect. And an even bigger shout out to Colas, who is the GOAT, no cap, for letting me be on his superstar channel and maybe gain some subscribers of my own. Make sure to subscribe, and as always, I'll be seeing you soon.